Hey guys and welcome back to The Money Game with AC. So is the market sell-off done? You know, the, the Nasdaq closed above 1%, um, oil is up, the gold is up, crypto, it's, you know, defining all the new time highs, doesn't matter whether it's Ethereum, Ripple, or Bitcoin, and, um, you know, the S&P, not that much, and the Dow Jones was really lagging a little bit, but we can consider it being flat. But if you look at some of the, the main two, items or events or news that came out this morning before the opening or at the opening you know it was really a, a, a kind of fear mongering and um first of all we have the johnson and johnson vaccine being paused by the fda and the cdc i mean six million people have been vaccinated in the u.s with johnson and johnson so far out of those six million persons or people we had six that were suffering from blood cuts, clots, okay? I'm not saying that it's it's not something bad or we shouldn't care about those six people, but it is one in a million, guys. One in a million ratio. And those people didn't die, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I think even though it might be a, 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 a regular ratio in the pharmaceutical industry when it comes to vaccines, we are bidding, I mean, we're trying to fight against something that, I mean, an unprecedented, pandemic you know so if we are supposed to fight it as a war then i don't think that one in a million should really be something that will you know drive a, a pulse but the good thing is we have the moderna we have the pfizer and the fact that they are taking two doses instead of one like the johnson and johnson maybe one of the reasons why people are starting to 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 panic and sold at the at, at the beginning you know uh but hey in New York, for example, everyone who was already scheduled to get the Johnson & Johnson would just get administered the Pfizer or the Moderna. So I think the market realized that and then we started going back up again, in, even though we didn't close with the Dow you know, around this, but you know, was still considered a flat day. And of course, all the reopening stocks you know, dipped at the opening. Uh, American Airlines dipped almost 5%, um, Carnival Cruise, um, almost deep another 5.6% at the beginning. Um, AMC stock were also caught up in it, of course. It's a reopening stock. Um, short squeeze aside, um, dipped almost 3%, 3-4%, and then went all the way above $9 mark. I really thought we would consider um, uh, 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 consolidate there, but it didn't stabilize. But it, it's fine, guys. It's fine. So um, on the other hand, we also had the consumer price index that was kind of the inflation data the market was expecting. It wasn't that bad. You know, as a matter of fact, the rates here were, you know, they, they declined. And whenever rates decline, we can always expect, you know, the tech sector to rise. And the tech sector did rise and has been rising, you know, um, for the last couple of trading sessions you know for example we have tesla here uh, going 8.6 percent on the day palantir going nine percent um, um apple going uh three uh, percent so definitely the rotation or the, the 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 rotation back into those sectors is actually happening because i think the market is now adjusting to inflation not being really a threat because even though the consumer price index did increase i mean it's expected you know gas prices went up um, um everything uh, uh, in terms of, I mean, with the supply chain being cut out, with the kennel source thing, with the whole pandemic in 2020, I mean, people were not allowed to spend money. And right now they did receive savings and they save on top of that. So they are willing to spend that money. And whenever you are willing to spend money, you don't really pay attention to prices. So the price will jump. And that is another definition of the inflation. But it seems like market is now adjusting. And I think we are on at, you know, a, a, a critical point with the markets and the economy where, you know, it's either make it or break it just because with corporate earnings that will start, um, I think it's today or tomorrow with banks, you know, releasing their earnings, the market and the investors will try to see that, hey, you know, we are really on a on a strong and quick recovery. So we better, you know, continue to invest in the market because this inflation thing is really just something that will come with a strong recovery that we had, you know, following the lockdowns and the whole quarantine thing in 2020. So yeah, the market to me seems like we are, you know, at that point where we might see another flat days or maybe not that huge of a sell-off, but we definitely are bracing ourselves to, you know, days where we see 1%, 2%, maybe 3%, I don't know, depending on the earnings on, you know, those stocks that are carrying the major indexes. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.